हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम बैक विथ अनदर वीडियो ऑन सोशलॉजी ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट फॉर यू पी एस सी सी एस सी मीन एग्जामिनेशन एंड फ्रेंड यू नो दैट वी आर कवरिंग सोशल थिंकर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अ थ्योरी ऑन सोशल सिस्टम बाय टेलकर्ट पासन सो फ्रेंड प्लीज डू दिस फ्री आर सेड एज इट विल रियली मोटिवेट मी टू कंटिन्यू दिस ऑसम कोर्स फॉर यू एंड प्लीज कमेंट एंड लाइक द वीडियो एंड इफ यू हैव एनी डास्क प्लीज आर आस्क दैट इन कमेंट्स एंड प्लीज डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब दैट बटन हिट दैट रेड बटन एज हार्ड एज यू कैन एंड फ्रेंड एज वी नो दैट यू वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर दीज थ्री सोशल थिंकर्स दैट इज मैक्स वेवर इमाइल दुर्खीम एंड कार्ल मार्क्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर टेलगट पासन एंड हिस थ्योरी ऑन सोशल सिस्टम फ्रेंड दिस थ्योरी हैज अ क्रिटिसिजम ऑफ बींग अ ग्रैंड थ्योरी और द वेरी लास्ट थ्योरी सो इट माइट बी पॉसिबल दैट माई स्पीड इज अ लिटिल बिट हाई सो प्लीज बी आर अप विद मी एंड पॉज द वीडियो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट और इफ द स्पीड इज फाइड दस पॉज वीडियो एंड नोट डाउन नोट डाउन द पॉइंट्स एंड देन कंटिन्यू so let us start it there are early approaches to the concept of social system so first we will see the definition of social system a social system has been defined by michel in 1979 as a consisting of a plurality of actor, act, actors interacting directly or indirectly with each other in a bounded situations there may be a physical or territorial boundaries but the main point of reference sociologically is that here individuals are oriented in a wide sense to a common focus or interrelated focus and according to this definition such diverse sets of relationship as families political parties kingship groups and even whole societies can be regarded as social system the persons divided earlier contribution into three broad school of thoughts uh, like utilitarian or utilitarian positivist and the idealist the utilitarians see the social action in a highly individualistic fashion they emphasize utilitarian rational calculation calculation but at the level of individual the positivists on the other hand believe that social actors have complete knowledge of their social situations this leaves no room for error on the part of actors or variations among actors the idealist the idealist idealist posit that the social action is the realization of the social spirit and the ideas such as of a nation or a people and consequently pay scant attention to really everyday impediments on the ground that obstruct the free realization of ideas and now we will seeing the um, social action from the perspective uh, perspective of passion and this is known as the passion action approach now passion offers another approach to the study of social system uh, except that those three uh, school of thoughts and it will be termed as action approach he formulates this approach through his history his his theory of social action which is an intrinsic element of the social system and the concept concept of action according to parson is derived from the behavior of human being as living organism as living organisms they interact or that means oriented with outside reality as well as within their own mind so behavior becomes action when four condition are present and these four condition are these and if these condition are present then our behavior become the action so first condition is is that it is oriented to the attainment of end or the goals or other anticipated affairs and it will occurs in a situation so situation is necessary for behavior to become an action it is regulated by norms and the value of society it involves an investment of energy or motivation or efforts and a uh, social system according to parson has the following characteristics the first one is that it involves an interaction between two or more actors and that inter interaction process is its main focus then the second one is interaction takes place in a situation which implies that other actors or the alters these alters are objects of emotions and value judgment and through them goals and means of actions are achieved and there exists in a social system collective goals orientation or the common values and the consensus on the expectation in its normative or cognitive that is intellectual sense so friend the social system has a mode of organization of action which is called the role the or we can say role relationship or the role expectations so the primary element of role according to parson is role expectation so basically the main or prime role is role expectation or we can say that role relationship it implies rec reciprocity between the actor and his 
his obligor alter or the other person and actor may be called as an actor will be called as ego and the alter will be called as the another person or the object so we can say ego alter relation and is governed by a range of motivational and very value orientations so motivation and orientation and value uh, uh, orientation has three major ranges the first one in motivational orientation is the cognitive orientation which make actors see their environment or object in relation to their need dispositions as a mental object they that is the actors attempt to understand the objectivity of subject matter of observation the second one is cathartic orientation and it involves involves emotional attitude of our actors toward their object the third one is the evaluative orientation and it leads the actors to organize their efforts in realization of their object with optimum efficiency and friend for more clearance on this three motivational orientation please read this example and you will be clear about this motivational orientation concepts and now we will see the range of value orientation and it also comprises of three part the first one is cognitive orientation but it will be different from those motivational orientation cognitive parts and the cognitive relation uh, orientation is one which relates to the issue of validity of judgment and the second one is appreciative orientation and is it is that which makes it possible for actors to judge their emotional response to object its appropriateness or consistency now the third one is the moral orientation and it is one which refers to the value commitment of actor toward his or her object so friend please read this example also for more clearance and i will put it this example for more clearance uh, i am i will be not reading that you will just read that and you will clear about the concept so now we will move further the motivational orientation and the value or orientations and those three parts of both each are the two levels of orientations and according to parsons they def that define the behavioral and cultural aspect of role or role expectations of we can say, say that role relationship so basically um motivational orientation will be also called as behavioral or motive aspect of the society and value orientation will be called as the cultural aspect of the society so the next thing is that role expectation in a social system serve as patterns of evaluation and every actor who performs a role has a dual capacity as means ego alter one time a person will be ego and another time it will be alter and ego will be another person so f let's read the whole lines that because role implies interaction with with the other person or the person so basically it divides role into two kinds according to person the first is the orientation role where actor which means ego or self interacts with another alt with the another person or which will be called as alter and the another person will be his or her object and the second is the object role where actor is the object of alters orientation so friend for more easy to understand the previous slides i have made this graph for you for easier understanding the first one is that behavior so when we will remove consciousness from the action it will become behavior for example we when we um, uh, yawning or be blinking our eyes so there will be that will be our behavior because we that actions will have no consciousness the second one is that when behavior combined with consciousness it will become action and then when the action will be in society it will be known as social action and for uh, action to be happen the three things is important the first win x actor the second win is situation basically uh, it is defined as a place by the society and the third win is orientation means the purpose so basically we have three two types of orientation motivational and value con um orientation motivational has three parts as we have already discussed to you and value also has three parts and now when social action is 
happen there will be a role and we can say role relationship or role expectation and the ego is us means the self and the alter is the another person with whom we are interacting and then it will lead to the social system and the social system is also further divided into three parts that is personality subsystem cultural subsystem and the social subsystem so for now we will see these for subsystem the first one is personality subsystem basically personality is the total sum of individuals in their today life for example barack obama and bill clinton are the two personalities and the personality is basically means look plus thought that means our ideology and there are four trade offs personality the first one is psychological aspect means the people look different the second one is social aspect that is how family brought us the third one is environmental aspect that is one is how much fear and other is black and the third one is psychological physiological aspect and now the personality which is the source of social action in the same society we th think and act we think sorry for the spelling mistake think and act differently because we all have different personality trait for a person and personality is never be and the same type is culture subsystem the culture is a set of rule regulation art literature language and everything which individual learns as a member of society the personality me that means people always seek some need and to fulfill the, that need culture tell us how to fulfill your needs now the culture suggests individual how to fulfill one's need it is a system or a process which is created by the society to fulfill their needs in respective or the suggested ways the third one is social subsystem and society is a set of individual which is offered by the society to fulfill your needs for example first thing the personality system it means the who who wants the help so when muslim girl want education he will ask or he is the person who asked that who will be helping me so the culture sub system will says that how will you will be help is suggested by molvi that education for the muslim girl will be suggested by molvi and then who will educate the muslim girls and the social system will it will tell that um, you can but uh, social system will will tell and you will be treated in the madrasa or elsewhere elsewhere but you cannot read from a male teacher so it will just an example don't take it personal personally it's only for the education purpose and you cannot choose your alter that means the uh, object fr from which you are getting or interacting in the society and only society suggests your alter so when these things are correlated and then it will be form a pattern now for a social system there are some functional prerequisites or the fun some pre requirement of a social system is that there are certain functions without which a social system cannot subsist or exist and these are called as the functional pre requisites by telcat parson and there are four such functional pre requisites the first one is adaptation the second one is goal attainment attain attainment the third one is integration and the fourth one is latency and the adaptation and the goal attainments are the internal external part of our life and latency of pattern maintenance and the integration are the internal part adaptation is a means economic system goal attainment means political system integration means culture system religious religion ideology etc and the latency means family socialization etc education and etc so first uh, let's talk each by each one by one it is responsibility of the system to adopt with the external environment and ensure sufficient supply to fulfill physiological needs of individual and here economy is assigned this job to do this job the second one is goal attainment it is a responsibility of political system to set achieve and achieve the goal of their respective society and basically adoption and goal attainment are the external or consumer in nature the third one is integration when individuals goals and social goals are complementary to each other and not contradictory then it is called as integration and it is important to have integrated relation in terms of goal and idea between individual and the society and this will be ensured by our religion and the law the third 
third one fourth one is latency and in latency focuses the problem of how to maintain and renew the social system for longer time in a pattern which is um, in a pattern in a specialized manner a stabilized manner so society maintain its pattern by transferring norms and value of society from one generation to another generation through family and education and integration and latency are the internal or the instrumental part of the social services or the functional prerequisite now criticism of this story basically c w mill said that it is a grand theory it is too big to understand then rk martin proposed a middle range theory against parson's theory he said theory should not be too long or too small it should be middle. he said durkheim theory of suicide and weber's theory of religions are the example of middle range theory parson's views and structural functional view which present society unidimensionally it emphasizes only on interdependency cooperation and coordination but ignores conflicts and wars civil wars massacre etc Parsons called this theory as voluntaristic theory of social action but critics say all social sections are voluntaristic like black in america slaves in america and should be were forced for social action which is not voluntaristic so the final conclusion of this theory is that parson discussed all all about the aspects of the society he explained why a system works together and how it developed in the process of evaluation evolution and due to its contribution there is only one era in sociology that is parsonian era and it will be from 1970 to around 1970 to 1990s and he gives the realistic theory which gives the interdependence of individual and society so friend thank you for listening me and watching this video please do this free us and ask any doubt if you will we have you will have comment and like and please don't forget to subscribe as i am doing a very hard work for you thank you